What's up YouTube, Tom from Techstop here, TSH coming your way and today I'm doing a review of the G Technology G-Ray drive. This is a 2 terabyte drive, it's a bit of a monster, it weighs about uh, 1.6 kilos or about 3.5, 3.8 pounds. Uh, it's a Firewire 800 drive and it's just a really quality, um, super fast drive. Um, it's got a, its own little external fan at the back there. So I'll go through this one. I'll show you guys in a moment in closer detail. I'll go through all the specs and I'll show you how you connect it up and I'll do a review. But there's a top end uh, drive. The drives are my, made by Hitachi. Hitachi own G technology. You can check out my uh, you can check out my equipment video just by clicking here. Um, I'll go through this one and I'll just show you the Western Digital drive I use. And I'll also go through, I've got a Samsung G2 review just by clicking here. You can check that one out and it'll take you to that video. But let's get into the review of the uh, GTEC RAID drive. Here we go. All right, so this is the drive here. It's made out of aluminium. It's really high quality. There's a lot of venting or airing vents there, cooling vents side on it actually does weigh a lot it looks really good with Macs it's compatible with both Mac OS operating systems and Windows but it does uh, it is made to be sort of a Mac type look it's made for high um, usage applications so yeah with the MacBook Pros or the iMacs and so forth But it's a really high quality drive. If you check out my equipment video, how I use this, this, this has all of my raw photo data on it. And I use this uh, to process all my raw photo data. And then I back it up onto a Western Digital using Time Machine. So let's get into it. This is a G-Raid. What comes in the kit is you get a universal AC power supply. You get the obviously the G-Rate storage system. You get an eSATA cable which connects right there to the eSATA connectivity. You also get a 1.8 meter Firewire 800 cable. You got two Firewire 800 uh, connectors, and you also get a 1.8 meter 800 Firewire 800 to 400 cable. They're both white cables, so the actual drive has 800, two 800 Firewire ports but it does come with a connectivity cable there. Also come with a USB 2 port and a USB 2 1 meter cable. That's where you put the power. You got the power button there. You got a fan. Get all the heat out of the system. And that's basically that's basically what you get there. So what you do have is a 3 gigabit eSATA interface. That's the quickest way to connect to this thing. You got the two Firewire 800 ports and a USB 2 port. Obviously, that's the quickest way. I actually use the Firewire 800, and it works like a dream. Inside, you've got two SATA 2 drive type drives. You got it's at 7200 RPM and a catch up to 32 megabytes per drive. So super quick. It's fairly quiet, but you can hear this thing working when you're uh, when it's transferring the data. You can hear it crunching away, not too loud, and the fan kicks in, obviously. So. You can hear that just right here. There's a little LED light that lets you know it's a white light, lets you know that it's working and that it's um, processing the information. And I've got this as a RAID 0 setup. And the, obviously the thermo fan there at the back keeps all the heat out of it. So it's a very good system. Weighs about 3.6 or 3.8 pounds, 1.6 to 1.8 kilos roughly there. Um, and it does work on the Mac OS 10 or Mac 10.3 and higher and Windows 2000 XP and Windows 7 Vista and so forth. And it's just a very high quality drive. So check them out. G-Ray do all sorts of high quality drives, um, different setups, all the way up to the Super Pro um, and all the way down to the sort of G-Ray minis. So they're worth checking out. They are on the pricier end. This one retails for about 260 bucks US. I ordered it from B&H and imported it in because in Australia it's about 600 bucks, five or 600 bucks Australian. So it's worth importing in. Um, they also just released a four terabit version of this one. This is a two terabit, but they just released the four terabit. So go check that one out. 
This is Tom from Tech Stops here. TSH coming your way. Let me go. Let me know if you guys use these G Tech drives or if you had good or bad experiences. Don't forget to check out my other videos and uh, please rate this video and let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys next time. Cheers.